Hi guys, I'm going to talk about the amazing health benefits of egg yolks, okay? Now, if you ask the person on the street, what about egg yolks, they probably think it's bad for you, it's going to clog your arteries. In fact, when I'm in line buying my eggs at the grocery store, I usually have seven dozen. Uh, of course, I'm checking out and they always look at me strange, like, what are you buying all these eggs? Is it Easter? And I'll just tell them I have, you know, 18 kids. But we go through a lot of eggs. Um, I have five people in my house, so we go through a lot of eggs. Um, I did a seminar a while ago at Exxon Gas in Mobile. And, um, and after I did the seminar, I thought they liked it, but they, they said, you can't come back and do further seminars. And I said, why not? Uh, they said, well, because you're recommending 45 eggs a day. I said, what? I said, I recommend four to five eggs a day, not 45. And they go, Oh, okay, you can come back. So I did a series of seminars there on health. But egg yolks have amazing things. And egg whites, really lower amounts of nutrition. Essential fatty acids. Essential meaning must come from diet, body can't make, okay? So that will provide essential fatty acids. You also get a one-to-one -one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 if you consume eggs like this, pasture-raised, organic okay these are the eggs that you need to get they're a couple dollars more per dozen but that couple dollars is worth it okay because you're doing intermittent fasting too so you'll be able to save on that but if you buy commercial eggs that's a 10 to 1 ratio omega-6 to omega-3 so it's just going to create inflammation and i bet you anything any study that shows any negative effects from eggs they're using commercial eggs they're not using um, you know, eggs from chickens that were fed on grass and uh, roaming in the farmland, they're not gonna do that. So omega-3 is really good for inflammation, skin, heart, hormones, okay? Egg yolks are loaded with vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 makes your bones really strong. They also remove calcium from the arteries and the joints. So it kind of is a transporter for calcium. Keeps it out of the wrong place. Choline. Did you realize that egg yolks have 10 times more choline than broccoli? Choline is amazing for uh, brain support, for uh, making sure you don't get a fatty liver. If you do have a fatty liver, choline will strip the fat off. And then people are worried about consuming eggs, thinking that they're going to get fat or have a, uh, a fatty liver. No, it has choline. Choline counteracts that. It's great also for the nerves that connect to the digestive system. Uh, people that are constipated actually get improvement when they consume choline. It's also um, one of the rare foods that have all the fat-soluble vitamins. So we talked about K2, loaded with vitamin A, okay? D, E, K1. Uh, a for the eyes, for the skin, for the mucous membranes of the sinuses. D for the bone. And E for the heart. K1 for the blood, okay? Very important. Biotin, great for the hair loss, supporting proteins. Uh, folic acid, B vitamins, especially B5, B6, which basically are helper vitamins that just put everything together and allow you to uh, metabolize better, generate energy, make proteins. Iron, good source of iron. If you have a uh, vegetarian source of iron, it's not the same, okay? It's not the same. Um, this is like a much better quality, absorbable, usable iron. Zinc, a trace mineral that a lot of people are deficient in. Zinc is one of those things that helps blood sugars, it helps your immune system, and it also is a trace mineral to help you build protein as well. Calcium, and this thing called phospholipids. Now, what is that? Phospholipids are um, healthy fats that help build the structure of your cells. Your cell has a double layer of fat made with phospholipids. And that cell membrane is the key to actually protecting the cell and allowing the transport of things going in and out of the cell. There's a lot of diseases that occur when the cell membrane becomes damaged. Phospholipids are also intimately involved with the mitochondria, which is the energy factor of the cell, and hormones. Uh, when you consume egg yolks, you increase glutathione. This is a real powerful compound that protects the liver. 
and other parts of the body. Also, it increase good cholesterol, HDL, okay? So you don't have to worry about consuming high quality egg yolks. I eat the whole egg. I do four eggs every single day, um, mainly for my lunch, which I don't have a breakfast. So the egg yolk is, I believe, one of the most healthiest things that you consume to provide the nutrients, the protein, and the healthy fats on a healthy ketogenic diet. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book, some of you don't, but this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter. I'm gonna show you exactly what to eat and a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below, check it out.